I think Daniel Jones is the is the quarterback for the New York Giants. Here's why. I mean, if you think about it, look at the passes he throws. He's an accurate guy. He's accurate as shit, and he can run. He can get out of the backfield. He can create time for himself. I think the offensive line did a decent job this year. You know, later on in the season, anyway, toward mid to later season. You know, later on in the season, I thought he did great. And when they didn't do good, he bought he bought himself some time on his feet. You know, I think he rushed for 700 yards this year, 750 or something like that. Uh, threw for three, what, 28, 3,000, uh, you, know, mm-hmm. you know, somewhere around there. I mean, that's, that's good stat. Over 3,000 yards. Yeah. Over oh, 3,000 yeah, yards. Yeah, yes. over 3,000 yards. And I think Daniel Jones is the quarterback for the New York Giants. Get the guy a weapon or two to go downfield. Get the guy an immediate weapon. And let's win the Super Bowl, man. And let's go get this thing, man. It's not hard. Yep, there, there was a stat that I saw last week. There's one of only, there's three quarterbacks in the league, only three that have thrown for three thousand and rushed for over six hundred yards: Daniel Jones, Jalen Hurts, and Josh Allen. That's it. Hey, not even Lamar yo, Jackson. Man. Not even Patrick Mahomes have done that. Right. So in saying that, they, they talking about Jalen Hurts is up is is MVP. Right. All right, and uh, he's in the he and he's in the top with two of the top guys in the league. Mm. How could you not get this man credit? And still, they they both, all both of those teams that you know quarterbacks you mentioned has down has downfield threats, mm. has downfield threats. We don't have that. And Daniel Jones is still mentioned. They gotta respect DJ man. They gotta respect him. And I, you know, he's he's a good quarterback. He's a he's a good quarterback. And I and I really think that he can be so much better. And I think the Giants' record can be so much better if they had a, a, a another a wide receiver who can actually be a threat. On every single down, I thought the defense played tremendous. Uh, you know, like other than a few weeks, I thought the, you know Philadelphia the first time they played them, and the second time I think they played Dallas. I think those were the two worst games defensively that we played. Mm. I think everything else they was in the game, and I thought the defense played well. I say leave the defense like it is. You know, um, I thought I think our DBs are good. Who started yes. off the season rough? Mm-hmm. I think they're good. Get this man a wide receiver. Pay Saquon. Pay Daniel whatever you can pay him and find out a way where you can find your way around Kenny Galladay's contract where you can give more people some money. So my question is about Saquon, actually. So you you were very high on him every time we've had you on the show and saying that he's going to bounce back and be an elite running back, and he's definitely been that this year. So, again, with the contract now coming up, upcoming, what do you think the Giants will end up paying him per year and also years-wise? I have no idea. I do know it's going to be short-term. When I mean short term, I say four years max. Say four years, about 50, 55 million, maybe 25 of those 50 guaranteed. Hmm. Or 55 guaranteed, you know, guaranteed. I think they'll be able to finagle that by, you know, as far as the cap is concerned, I think they give Daniel Jones another short term contract as well. No, I, I agree with you. I think when you look at Saquon Barkley and, and, and the season that he has, he deserves all the money. And I do believe he'll have probably between 25 and $28 million guaranteed, uh, as well as he should. And, and we'll see if he lives out that three- to four-year contract. Because that's what I think he's going to have, a three- or four-year contract. They're not going to extend him any longer. Running backs don't play that long in the You know that, Brandon. Uh, the, yeah. An average running back, three to four years in the NFL. Two. Yeah, two years. Two and a half. Really? So there you go. Yeah. Uh, so, so there you go. And Brandon, you were in the league for a long, long time. So, give you a lot, a lot of credit for what you know, what you did as a player. Uh, as everybody knows, we are talking to two-time Super Bowl champion running back Brandon Jacobs and his son uh, Braden Jacobs, who uh, just uh, took a step back, let his father take over. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, uh, Brandon, we go back and forth with the Jets, and I, I know you're not a Jets fan. You're you don't like the Jets. Um, what were your thoughts and uh, on what happened to the Jets in the second half of the season? And uh, do you think they should stick as well as what you've heard from Adam Scheffner today, saying they're going to stick with Zach Wilson, they're behind Zach Wilson? Do you think the organization should or should be looking elsewhere for a quarterback in the offseason? I like Zach, man. I think Zach is a good quarterback with a lot of with great confidence. I do know he has great confidence. Wow, he's around here. Uh... Sleeping with all these meals, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but I had to say it. <laughs> I had to say it, man. A lucky guy. He but, is uh, a lucky guy. <laughs> but uh, uh, I think he's a good quarterback. I think the Jets should stick with him. I mean, them benching him. I mean, he was five and two when they benched him. Yeah, I guess a starter. Uh, 
it benched him over, I guess, him not taking blame for the, the, the uh, by, by putting pressure on the defense or the offense could be more successful or, or whatever it was. And they benched him because he didn't answer that question correctly. I think that's piss poor, a piss poor reason to bench your friend, you know, your quarterback who you just drafted, you know, up there. And I, I mean, I think the guy's a good quarterback. He got, you know, I, I'm a fan of him, mm. you know, and I think he is the guy for the Jets. I mean, I thought the Jets had a pretty decent season, more, you know, better than what they used to have in, yeah. you know. Yeah, way better than what they used to have. So I mean, uh, wow, I'm, I'm surprised I think you're, you're complimenting with him. <laughs> I'm surprised you're complimenting them because the last time oh, you won, uh, you weren't oh, you man. weren't too fond of them. <laughs> I'm going to compliment a team that need to be complimented. Absolutely, the, you know. I mean, I'm just I'm I'm not a hater. But I got you because uh, one team across the way that kind of try to you know what I mean I, I'm not I mean I got you Jets hey he, he was high on sauce last time he was on he, the show you were yeah were sauce, very... sauce is a beast I mean sauce sauce could be one of the best corners in the league right now could be one of the greatest ever played by the time he's done <laughs> I mean think about it I mean sauce is he had to cover some guys this year man. yeah yeah and he's he done a good did. job I mean he still hadn't given up much if you go through his season his, his, his season it, you know it's not much different than what it was last year mm. he you know he didn't give up a whole bunch um but you know, I say I, I I like what the Jets have done as far as the coach is concerned. A lot of the moves they made, as far as roster wise, um, I think I think the future is very bright for the New York Jets. And uh, you know, like I said, I don't really like them, but I'm not going to sit up here and say certain things about them because I don't like them. I, I do know a team that you absolutely hate uh, over there in Dallas. Uh, they they have a chance to actually fall in first place by the end of the season if the Eagles lose, if San Francisco loses. And Minnesota loses, and and the Cowboys win. They could actually move up to the number one seed in the NFC. What are your thoughts to that? I mean, I hate the Dallas Cowboys with a passion. You know? like, I, I I I take my gun and shoot it and shoot it in the air at any stars. <laughs> right, <laughs> but they're good football team. They got a good defensive outfit. They got a good offensive outfit. They got their wide receivers. Crazy. They got two good running backs. Got an offensive line that's out of this world. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if I saw Dallas playing in the Super Bowl this year. Uh, it's just me going to be honest. I hate them, but I wouldn't be shocked <laughs> if, they, worry. If, they were to, if they were to make it all the way. I mean, they beat the Eagles, who the number one team. They beat them, you know, <laughs> good. No controversial calls, no cheating, no one no one way or another. Mm-hmm. Nothing could, no one could say rigged. They beat them mano y mano. Once they done that, I mean, I, I mean, we got Minnesota Vikings. They went there and put forty something points on the Vikings in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I you, wouldn't. It, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be sitting here telling you. Don't worry. Even if Dallas wow. does get the one seed, uh, Dallas, you know a thing or two about them losing in the in the first playoff. And Dallas game. and Dallas didn't beat Jalen Hurts. Uh, they they did go pound for pound, but they didn't beat Jalen Hurts. Like, Dallas did not beat Jalen Hurts. I definitely I would agree with that a hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> I would agree with that. I think it would have been a different but different game. Next man up, though, man. Next man up. You got one guy now, which is a quarterback. It's a big deal. But, I mean, come on, man. At the end of the day, you should find a way to get to, you know, you, you're, you're needed. Find a way to line that shit up and play ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My last question is, uh, with the Giants' current playoff scenarios, they could play one of those four teams. Which team are you most afraid of uh, playing? Which would you want to play most? I'm most afraid of whatever can happen to make us fall to go to San Francisco. I'm afraid of that. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. I'm afraid of that. I don't want that one. But we can beat Minnesota. Mm. All right. Yeah. We can beat Minnesota. We had, you know, Minnesota had a full deck of cards a couple weeks ago, and we were on their asses, (laughs) which we should have won the game. The Giants can beat Minnesota. I'm not so sure about San Francisco, but the Giants can beat Minnesota. I'd rather the Giants play Minnesota in Minnesota beat them and go to Dallas, if that's the case. Mm-hmm. And beat them. I see, I, I see that happen. And we've seen that. The Bengals last year, what everything fell together for them. How they went from one team to an everything fell together for them to go to the Super Bowl. So maybe if the Giants get lucky and, and the matchups you know, obviously match up very well for them, they could go all the way to the NFC title game. There's no question they can. And anything could happen because a team can lose their quarterback or somebody gets hurt or yeah, maybe a team's happen. not playing. A team's not playing well. So we've seen this before. The Giants did it yeah. twice. 
You know, so it, it, it's amazing. And you did beat San Francisco in the NFC sure. title game. So I, I remember that. And I remember Eli getting beaten the hell up. And he yeah, still he found destroyed. a way. Yeah, I remember that game. We all got destroyed. <laughs> they got destroyed, too. That was a knockdown, dragout game. But once you get to the NFC Championship game, anything can happen, man. Well, <laughs> anything can happen in the NFC Championship game. Before we let you go, I, I didn't forget our bet the last time we had you on the show. So remember, mm-hmm. next year. Before the Jets play the Giants, I don't know, know when that's going to fall or probably fall. I, I would say week eight or week nine. Whoever has the better record, you're going to have to take me and Speedy and your son to the, to the game. And we, we go to see the Jets and the Giants on you. But if the Giants have a better record than the Jets by whenever they play, I take you and your son. And I'm going to get fantastic seats. Me, you, Speedy. And your son are going to go to a giant game, giant Jets game next year. What do you say? I, that's a bet. That's a bet. I know it's a bet, and I'm going to stick that's to my bet. bet. I that. always do. I always don't do. worry. I'll, br- I'll, br- I'll bring the jersey. It won't fit me. I won't wear it, but I'll, <laughs> but I'll, br- I'll definitely bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, we really, we really appreciate your time. Tell your son, Braden. We wish him all the luck. We will be, we'll, we will support everything he does, and we'd love to get you guys back on the show very, very soon. And we'll talk to you soon, man. Well, sounds good, man. Guys, thanks. Hey, hey, thanks for having me and my boy on, man. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, that. man. Hey, Happy New Year to you guys. Happy Absolutely. New Year to you guys. You as look well. good, man. Do whatever you're doing. I'm fine, man. And, and 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 safe travel wherever you're moving to. Are you getting a yeah. bigger house well, we now? We are moving to Buford, Georgia. Buford is one of the top tier programs in the state of Georgia. One of the top in the country as well. I think my boy needs to be there. So uh, that's what we. Oh, is that is that oh. is that a little slip Kirby right Smart, there? Are you listening? Is that, <laughs> is that a what? Is that a little uh, you know information that you don't want to give us? <laughs> no, I, mean, I mean, it's been it's been it's been known by everybody. I mean, beautiful wolves is like uh, they got up to number six in the nation last year. Mm. They lost one game in the playoffs, which was a wrong game to, to lose. Should have won a state championship easy. They didn't because uh, they lost the wrong, you know, the wrong game. But I'm bringing some, I'm bringing some, some, some guys that, that that's gonna be able to get them over that hump and uh, and and go. Mono, you know, it's it's iron sharp and iron. There's a bunch of iron over at Buford that that's in coaches and players that you know that you know that I think they're just gonna be able to make my son better. Mm. You know, to go to the next level. Jersey to Georgia, the Jacobs are heading down to the. Uh, the big G, and maybe. Oh Kirby. no 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 no! I haven't lived in Jersey since 2000. Oh really? I thought you were in Jersey. So there you go. But that makes it even better. I mean, that might be a a toss right there to Kirby Smart over there. You know, yep. Uh, a little like a well, you know, if, pitch. If we was in Jersey, probably my boy would probably go to Don Bosco or uh, DePaul Catholic. Oh, okay. Okay, I know exactly. One of, no, like one of those two schools. Yeah, I, I know exactly what school that is, and uh, mm-hmm. I've been down there. I've 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 talked to a lot of recruits from that school, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, we really appreciate the time, as always. You're awesome. We'll get you on soon, and, and I'm going to stick to that bet, man. That bet is, is you. embedded. You. You're going to fly up here. Hey, listen, I'll even take you out to dinner. If the Giants have a better record to the, than the Jets next year, I will take you out to a nice dinner and a Giants-Jets game. Okay. But what makes you think the Giants are going to have a better record than the Jets next year? Why is this a bet? Why, you know, why, because like, I think why the Jets are going to have a better record than the Giants next year. No, I'm saying, why, why, like, why don't you just pay out this bet this summer? <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to go to a giant jet game. There's only one giant jet game every four years. So there you go. And I think it's next year. So that's, right. Pay, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Like this that's so right. That's right. So, whoever, so the bet is whoever have a better record at the time. At the, the time to the game, yes. Giants or Jets, if if the Giants have a better record, you got to take us to the Giants Jets game. If so it was week eight and we're five and two, yes, and and the Jets are, I got you. Yes, I got you. I four. Got you. Got you. If the Jets are four and four, four and four. Yeah. Yes, the Giants you. have the better record. I take you. I take you to the game. Now, if the Jets have the better record, you got to take me and Speedy and your son to the Giants Jets game, and and you're gonna you're gonna have to wear a hat or something. The only difference is, oh, is oh. that, that mm. you're going to have to probably pay for tickets. Mm. And I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't care. And by the way, you know I have press passes. So oh, okay. uh, so, so I might not have to pay for the p- tickets either. That's good. Well, that's good shit. Then no one <laughs> outside of the dinner. There you go. I'm going to take you to dinner no matter what. You guys come up here. Winner. How about this? Even if you have to pay for the tickets, I'll still take you out to dinner. 
How's that sound? Sounds like a plan to me. All right, there you go. There's the bet. Me and Brandon Jacobs, our bet lies to next year. Jets, Giants, whoever has the better record at the time they meet. Brandon, thank you. Tell your son, Braden, thank you for all the time. As always, we love you. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for having me.